Here is what we're going to have. We're going to have the sandwich and also the salad and a little scone. Here we go. Try again. Again. Lovely spring onion. As I said, depends on how much spiciness you can handle. Here's our ingredients.
Ta-da! I'm just directly from the pot. Very good. Now we're going to sprinkle for the spring onion nicely. So this is my lunch for tomorrow. Here are the tomorrow's lunch, the, all the ingredients, eggs, and the, this one from the Korean store, leftover rice. And uh, let's get started. Leftover rice. We also need to use some cheese. So I got the mozzarella cheese mix. And um, I think the recipe is easy to make. So I'm going to show you guys because it looks really, really tasty.
I'm actually going to try a little bit and uh, put it into my lunchbox. Let's try how does it taste. I have a very high expectation about this one, about this recipe, but we're going to see what's the result. Okay, so let's try. Wow, it's actually really, really good. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. It is really good. The combination between the rice and the ramen, I would never expect it can get together. I mean, I don't know. I feel like this spicy ramen, this the bag, the spice bag, so delicious, and it's just highlight the fried rice. So it's just super, super tasty. This is me during the night after I finish work and cooking my lunch, eating my lunch. I mean, a bit of it, tasting my lunch. You see how beautiful it is now, right? Maybe I can cut. This is my finished look of the fried rice with the spicy instant ramen. Although it's not looks as that beautiful as what is in the pot, but it still looks delicious. Ta da! Wow! Look at them. Today we are going to make cheese version of a salad pioneer and also this one I got the stock from the market and uh, this is butter it's here.
is ready for tomorrow's lunch, office lunch. Here are the rice, here are the curry we made together. And they put some spring onion on the top. Look at this. So tonight I'm going to make a risotto. I bought this one from the store. And uh, I bought the seafood mix from the store. And uh, the other ingredients I'm going to use is the garlic and also some ginger. And I have my broccoli as well, so I'm going to use that. So it's just a very cheap, quick. Hopefully, we can make it nice. But let's try. Milk as well. Sorry, guys. I just find out I'm not going to make an authentic risotto because I don't have wine. But uh, anyhow, it's just my version. Don't judge me, okay? It's just my quick, easy lunch recipe. So finish lunch and uh, the Italian rice singing. Yeah, I'm not going to call it risotto, but it's super super tasty and super super easy. So that's it. That is the end of this video. If you if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you enjoy my content, please subscribe my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.